hello hello and welcome to this astrology reading um, on behalf of club zodiac i am ali from ali's way tarot and i will be doing the water and air signs libra and scorpio today on the left we have scorpio on the right we have libra i pull an angel number so we will get into that shortly but before i want to say that i am a psychic medium i see things and i hear things that you may not see or that may not be on the cards um sometimes i pause sometimes i talk fast and sometimes i mumble my words but they're all part of my gift um i wanted to clarify that before we started and if i miss anything i'm sorry but it goes really quickly and i do go with the energy from my guidance and so yeah let's get into it I pulled your card for you, Scorpio. Scorpio will be on the left and Libra will be on the right, okay? So number 18 is your number and it says you are both open-minded and open-hearted and you have ambition. See, I said it, your ambition. You have ambition. Your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. Your mantra for today is I am kind-hearted. We'll put this to the side very very side because i'll actually move libra for a second excuse me libra and put it right here okay and we're going to be pulling some tarot cards today and some angel cards this won't be too long because i'm mindful of everyone's time but there are meaningful messages i pulled also um a crystal on what you need to work in and for because today's topic is what are your blockages First, we have the moon card here. We have the magician. Judgment. Ten of Pentacles. And last but certainly not least, we have Ace of Swords. Okay, so it's a lot of energy. But what it tells me is that with this moon that just happened, um, in in Libra, yeah. There was a full moon in Libra a few days ago, and there's an equinox retrograde coming right now. And with that, if, well, first of all, full moons in general are very heavy energy, so I know that every sign, regardless of Libra, will be feeling that. Right, let's just say that first. But this also could be in your placement, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be um, your, your sun sign. <laughs> All right, but with the moon, it says that you've been thinking very heavy at nights, right? You try to make a lot of magic with that magician card, but you're judging yourself, even though you're trying to seek outside of the box with the Ace of Swords and that Ten of Pentacles, you're trying to make some family um, life decisions. It doesn't have to mean you have kids or you have a husband or a wife. It just means like long-term goals, very foundation-based goals. Okay. And the blockages that you're having is that you're trying to um, self stop self sabotaging, right? I'm seeing a lot of self sabotage and a lot of looking in the mirror, looking at ourselves, right? With the moon card here, we have the the mermaid, beautiful in water, very pretty colors, but she's looking upward, trying to go onto the land. Even the the wolves are looking up at the the moon. Everyone's looking up, and they're not looking within, right? So it's like look at yourself and look at what the the necessary steps you need to take in order for you to be your best self with a magician obviously you're a water sign but it's like looking at your water this is what needs to happen looking at yourself right trying to make magic from deep within this magician is looking down fixing all of the beautiful colors of the chakras you can see it right here it's purple it's blue a little bit of white so from the third chakra the throat chakra up needs to be addressed that's automatically saying that those things are blocked um but the judgment you're judging like i said yourself trying to seek from within that little girl or little boy deep within needs addressing and that childhood wounds need to be addressed especially with those ten of pentacles because with the ten of pentacles here we've got um in the background there's children but in the front part of the card it's husband and wife and children so like i said your childhood needs to go back in time to go back in time to erase or not really erase but 
go back in time and address what needs to be addressed in order to heal yourself, right? Scorpios love very hard. They also love family. Ten of Pentacles is not a surprise that it came out because Scorpio is a family-oriented sign all in general. They either love hard or they leave either um, dismiss quite harder. And so with that, it's like go into your family roots, check to see what's in because you are making decisions this upcoming moon to um, better yourself and to see how you can be a better version of you, right? Ace of Swords, yes, indeed, you have new beginnings coming forward. You do have beautiful, great, brilliant ideas, but your childhood limits you. It tells me that, um, yeah, your inner voice, that like inner demon, also in the back, beautiful card, but you see there's steps that goes from deep within. So many steps got this person, regardless of gender or sex, got this person to um, have a lot of thoughts, have a lot of memories, right? A lot of steps that we have in our brain and every step is every year of our life. And every year of our life, we have some type of beautiful or bad drama that goes down, right? So with that, that's what it's telling me with this card. How many steps got you to where you are? Seek from within, work from within, and heal from within. Okay, now let me move those cards for a second. Angel messages. Um, forgiveness. Again, you've got childhood wounds, right? Or even you could be a relationship based. It doesn't have to be childhood. In the near future, something will definitely come up. Just be positive, remain positive. There's unlikely that you will um go backwards instead you will go forward right forgiveness is the key right here with this moon i know that moons like i said new moons full moons very triggering moons um both regardless new moons do bring in a beautiful exciting energy and full moons help you to release it's also good for manifesting wonderfully but it's good for releasing the i closed my eyes i picked up a stone and i said which which crystal would be good for scorpio and we had amethyst right so with that beautiful purple also again it's telling me blockages are up in that crown up in that third eye needs addressing needs healing uh the self-doubt the self-fear the self-sabotage needs to be erased needs to be dismissed and needs to work on right and that's what I have for you, Scorpio. You will do fine. You will do beautiful. You are beautiful. And seek from within, right? Look from deep within. Heal yourself. Hug yourself. Take yourself on a date. That's what it needs to tell you. How you love others just as hard, you can love yourself even harder. Because Scorpio energy is an energy that is most definitely um, a deep one. A lot of people don't understand Scorpios and they tend to think that Scorpios like they pop off and they fly off quite fast and that's so far from the truth Scorpios love hard and I know that with loving hard comes a lot of pain because not everybody's meant to be around a beautiful Scorpio but but now that you know that you need to heal that that's something that needs to be addressed Scorpio, if this is where we part ways, I just want to say thank you so much for having me. I'm Ali from Ali's Ray Tarot, like I said before, and those are my links right there. And um, yeah, subscribe to the other beautiful ladies because they are talented psychics that are trying on a mission to give and help heal the world with divine messages and also receive love as well. And I appreciate you for having me. And as always, thank you so much. Good night. Hello Libra and thank you for joining me on your part of the reading. Um, like I said before, I'm Ali from Ali's Way Tarot. That is my personal page, right? Um, I'm part of the Club Zodiac and I will be doing water and air. And now you guys are air. It's nice to see you and join you. Um, I'm also a Libra, so this should be really fun. <laughs> um, really, really fun. I'm a clairvoyant, clairaudient medium. <laughs> I get tongue-tied very quickly. I forget things very easily and I talk fast. So if you see that I said something on the cards that weren't there, it's my messages. I also pause. Um, I also pause and um, so yeah, I'm sorry for that, but that's just how my gift works and I can't control it. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. I pulled an angel card number, a crystal for you, and I pulled some tarot and some angel card numbers for today. Today's topic will be about the blockages, what blockages are blocking you um, from you being your best self and living your best life, especially with this week ahead. I know that we just had a moon in Libra, a beautiful moon, like I said before in the other part of the reading for the water. 
Libra can be in your placements. It doesn't mean that it's your sun. It doesn't mean it's your moon. It could be your rising. It could be anything. Any part of your chart. Um, but aside from that, moons are a very heavy energy. I want to bounce from topic to topic. I'm sorry. Moons can, um, moons can be a heavy energy, full or new. New moons are quite exciting. It's a way to renew everything. But full moons are also a way to release. And with that release comes a lot of heavy energy that you need to bring up to the surface, right? Equinox is coming up, retrogrades coming up. And so for that, let's get into it, right? Your card today is 1212. It says stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. You are angelic. You're angelic. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality and your mantra will be I am focused. See, I do this all the time. Or sometimes I will say words that are not there. Okay. Um, but that is like stay focused. I know Libra is a planet. And I'm guilty of it too as I am a Libra. Libras are a planet that's very indecisive. Often trying to get balance. Often trying to weigh. Make sure that everything's right. Having that justice. Having that fairness, right? And so with that, let's see what we've got. That is one of our guilty traits overall. Regardless of whatever moon is there. <laughs> We've got the Hermit, the Page of Swords, the King of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, or the Hierophant, however you say it, Tomato, Tomato, and we've got the Three of Cups right here, right? There's so many cards, so I'll go one by one, right? Put this Three of Cups over here. With the Hermit, obviously, we've been in, in um, a hiding because that full moon was quite intense, opens up a lot of uh, emotions, opens up a lot of pain wounds, opens up a lot of indecisiveness that you need to let go of to be your highest and your best divine self, regardless of gender or sex. And um, you see that up on this, it's a female in this card, but you see up on this mountain, he or she um, is trying to go within, trying to find, looking at the waters, feeling the, the cold air. Um, if you're a Clara, Clara scent, I think that's how you say it, you will feel, you could feel the energy through that card. It's a very cold, very, um, not a lonely place, but a very place of solitude where it's, I want to be alone, I want to be left alone. With that, it's a lot of blockages. You're aware of your blockages, it tells me too, because if you go into hermit mode voluntarily, you're aware you have some gunk that you need to work on, right? With the page of swords here, it's trying to also go from within, lifting up that energy going into an enthusiastic part, cutting the cords, like the movie Up, very strong ones in my mind where I'm seeing Up wanted to take the house everywhere that he went, but eventually he realized that where it's staying, where it landed, even though he did go up, he went to his destination and he left it there and he made new memories. So your blockage is that you need to go from deep within and make new memories and not hold on to the past. Very guilty of holding on to what was instead of what could be and yes indeed he still went on and had new memories but he took his wife with him in a scrapbook and he um he carried her everywhere regardless she still never was missing even though she did you know pass and the house did stay at their honeymoon's destination he still took her scrapbook pictures he still brought her around you have a partner you have um memories that you still will bring around you not saying to let go of your partner or your things. I'm just saying if it's bad memories or a bad past or even if it was old memories, laugh at them and move on from them and make new ones even with the same person or find a new person regardless how your situation goes. This is a general reading and you know it resonates for you. King of Cups is an energy that is aware of a feeling and understanding going from deep within as well, being by himself trying to find out right like it's both people both genders watching this reading because here we've got the king of cups finding trying to find deep within his answers and the hermit mode in this particular deck it's a woman and she's also deep within so both genders are trying to find balance trying to find from deep within trying to get that indecisiveness away from their picture nobody wants to be unbalanced obviously Libra is the scale of justice so the justice is getting served now with the ace of cups it's saying open up your heart chakra that's blocked very very blocked and you need to let go of the past memories right get the um 
Three of Cups and the Hierophant right here, we've got marriage and commitment coming forward, looking with nostalgic feelings. Three of Cups is celebration or something significant happening around a holiday. And for that, we have here um, the happiness, the new memories. When you get married, yes, of course, it's based on old memories that brought you to a, a falling in love kind of feeling, but um, there's new memories that are going to be made right after the... It's funny because I just said up about the, the wedding and then boom, there's a Hierophant card. Um, it connects. So yeah, again, you when you find me memories and you have a partner, your husband, your wife, regardless of gender and sex, you have a honeymoon phase, and within that honeymoon phase, you you go on vacations, you go on trips, you have children, you have picnics, and you have you know uh, family dates and and Coney Island rides and Six Flags and everything, Disney. You go out and you make memories. So it's saying make memories. Stop being blocked. Stop sitting there. And um, I'm surprised actually that the other card tower didn't fall out. The five of cups. Stop sitting there over spoiled milk and crying over the past. When you can literally have the best memories with the same partner or another partner, however you want to resonate with that, right? Find and choose a new direction. How nice. Choose a new direction. Helpful people, your angels are there to watch you. You're about to blossom and have abundance. And the answer is yes to whatever question you may have subconsciously or consciously. Your answer is yes. You are going to make it. You're going to be fine. The self-doubt needs to let go of. The self-sabotage needs to dismiss. That Those are all blockages. The self-sabotage, the, the negative talking could also start from childhood as well. I know a lot of Libras, they love hard their um like a Venus kind of energy, an Aphrodite goddess from deep within. I see Libra as Queen Athena, always having the answers from deep within, always there to hug and hold. That's Libra. Libra and Scorpio are very similar, where Scorpios love deep within, and they can cut you off if they feel like they're being, you know, knocked off a bit, or, yeah, played. And they love really intensely, kind of, it can be too much, almost in an obsession kind of way, but it's not in their intention and libra has the same kind of similarity with that trait where libras love so hard that they will overpour their cups and give way too much and sometimes people don't deserve those cups and sometimes they do maybe they're not ready at the moment but that's saying to like have some kind of balance stay focused on your mission grind on your own make your money make your healing work it's funny because today's crystal that i pulled right close my eyes i opened up what was the crystal and it was the heart chakra so you need to open up your heart chakra because i know that a lot of people can use libra quite often it is it's true and from with that a lot of energy from giving love can kind of feel like i don't want to give it anymore i'm afraid to give the blockage is not there for you necessarily to keep it's there to help you to understand boundaries right so Open up your heart chakra that's blocked. Open up your um, your enthusiasm and no longer self-doubt yourself. Open up that loving, beautiful, healthy, happy whole energy because that is very necessary, especially with this equinox. It's meant to purge and it's meant to deep condition all of the pain that you had before. Even if you are afraid to overgive love, overgive it to you. Take yourself on a date. Eat some pink. Eat some red. Find some loving delicious fruits and heal you right those are your blockages on how you can heal your heart chakra heart chakra also has sacral chakra pain you often feel your pain coming from your sacral and your solar plexus because obviously when your solar plexus is down and you feel like crap your heart tends to block up so i would say as i did for scorpio when i said throat chakra to crown if you've sticked around um but for you libra if you you just skip to your pile I would say work from your root because you feel not unstable up until your heart chakra and then you will be able to because you're already aware right your crown chakra is open very much obviously you're in hermit mode and you chose to be and you know where you're going but you just feel scared to do so so i would say work from your root uh so that way you could feel safe and stable your sacral so you could be able to be creative enough and how to do it and you're an enthusiastic to do it and your solar to understand that you are enough and you've given a lot and your heart chakra will eventually open up for that and i hope you enjoyed it again i am ali from ali's way tarot and it is a pleasure having you um, those are my links subscribe to my channel and also 
bomb um <laughs> oh my god tongue tie and also follow the links to the other ladies pages because they're all beautiful talented psychics that are also on the same mission of receiving love and giving energy and messages to help heal the world and so thank you so much for joining me it was a pleasure i know i might have gone on a little loop and a rant but i love you libra and i love you scorpio if you stuck around and thank you so much for everything and i appreciate it all have a good night